A boy was born with a rare disease that caused blindness, deafness, and severe deformities. His condition was so strange, never seen before, that was baptized with his name, Grayson Coltsmith's disabilities were called Grayson Syndrome. This is his story. Grayson Coltsmith was born without a third of his skull, with a hole in his heart, blind, deaf, and with severe deformities all over his body. Doctors did not give him much hope for life, but the little boy, now eight years old, survived the 42 surgeries he has undergone. Grayson is the only child with the rare condition. Jenny, Kendi, and Smith were devastated when they were told their son would not live more than a month. When he was born, he was put straight into the final phase of care and was expected to die during one of his many operations. We have always hoped to find another child like Grayson, but we have never been able to find anyone like him, said the mother. He's the only person known to have all these birth defects. There's no one else to compare him to. Despite all his problems and the pain Grayson suffers, he's always smiling. For his parents, he is a ray of light, but it's also a very difficult situation. They pray for the boy every day. Grayson was born on February 15, 2013. After a normal and healthy pregnancy, his parents, whose other three children were healthy, said they had no reason to suspect anything was wrong. But Grayson was born barely breathing, with swollen eyes, a malformed head, and a frightening facial disfigurement, according to his mother. Fighting for his life, Grayson was transferred from the small Georgia hospital where he was born to a larger one in Alabama. I was shocked, devastated, and we were very scared. His eyes were swollen, he was very small, and he had a huge lump on his head, explained Grayson's mother. Doctors did a lot of genetic and DNA testing, but the boy's condition did not match anything known to them. Doctors discovered that Grayson had seven eye deformities, a huge hole in his skull, a hole in his heart, apnea, and he could not see or hear, although his eyes and ears began to work as he grew older. Most of the conditions he suffers from are degenerative and get worse as he gets older. He has a curve in his spine, which means his internal organs are being crushed. He cannot walk and has difficulty breathing. The doctors predicted that he would never live past the age of three or four, but now he's eight. During this time, he has had 42 operations and 26 of them on his head. In the operation to close the hole in his skull, the surgeons made him a new one using parts of his ribs. At each operation, the doctors were pessimistic and his parents prepared for the worst. However, the little boy has survived all the operations, showing admirable strength. Grayson's parents say that all the operations, trips to the hospital, and hours of care have been worth it, and it means the family can spend as much time together as possible. Grayson doesn't let his illness hold him back. He doesn't see himself as different, and his family treats him like a normal person. While the little boy's future is uncertain, his parents work hard every day so he can live a happy life. Grayson and his family must not only fight against the disease, but against the cruelty of people. When the boy was three years old, his image began to be used as a meme. It all started when Jenny decided to create a Facebook page called Grayson's Story to document his life with photos and videos and also raise funds for his treatment. Months later, Jenny was horrified to discover that a photo of Grayson had become the subject of ridicule. I decided to fight back because I didn't want anyone to take what had been a special day for him and turn it into something so cruel, said Jenny. The first thing she did was to contact social media users and the administrators of the sites that were sharing the meme to get them to delete it. Some did, others just ignored her. Then Jenny made her own version of the meme with a positive message. No doubt little Grayson will also overcome these situations in the company of his family and the people who appreciate him. What do you think about the story of this little fighter? Tell us your opinion in the comments section. So you don't miss any of our content, subscribe and activate notifications.